Now in the first part of the question then we found out that the value after three years was 9,216 by doing this kind of sum. But in this part of the question then we're asked to find the number of years it takes before the value falls below a thousand pounds. So what we can say is that if we have the value after n years. That's going to be calculated by doing 18,000 multiplied by 0 0.8 to however many years it takes for that value, which is this answer, to be less than 1,000. So we need to solve this for n. Now you could do this by trial and improvement on any calculator but at this level we should really be able to find out what n is by just mathematics. And what we would do is first of all divide both sides by the 18,000. So if we did that we would be left with 0.8 to the power n is less than 1,000 then over 18,000. And this cancels down to either 1 18th, okay, if you were to just divide top and bottom by a thousand, you either get 1 18th or as a decimal you would get that this was less than 0 0.05 recurring, which you can write with a little dot over the top here. Now, to get n, what we need to do is take logs. Take logs to the same base on both sides of this inequality. Well I'm going to choose base 10 so what we have is that log of 0.8 to the power n is less than the log of 0.05 recurring. Now that we've taken logs to both sides we can use what is called the power rule for logs. Hopefully you're familiar with that, that the power can come out the front of the log. Okay, so that becomes n log of 0 0.8 which is less than the log of 0 0.05 recurring. Now, I want to divide both sides by the log of 0 0.8. Now, this is a place where a lot of people go wrong because when you're dealing with inequalities you must remember that if you divide by a negative number the inequality must re be reversed and it seems as if you're not dividing by a negative number the log of 0 0.8 if you type it in on your calculator you'll notice that you get a negative number you should know though that the log of any number less than 1 is going to be a negative number so without even typing this into your calculator you should know that it's a negative number. So you've got to be very careful here. You've got to reverse the inequality. I'll do it in red just to highlight that point. And that's a place where I feel a lot of people are going to go down. So take extra care on that kind of point. Okay, let's just carry on down here. So if you do this on your calculator n turns out to be greater than 12.952 and so on. Now we're asked to find the first year then that this becomes less than a thousand pounds. Well n's got to be an integer, a whole number, so in other words the smallest value of n is going to be 13. So therefore n equals 13. Okay, well that essentially brings us to the end of this part of the question, but just to remind you one more time about this inequality business, okay, what you need to remember then is that if you've got the log of any number in any particular base, let's just say base A, it's going to be negative, alright, if the number n lies between 0 and 1. So do make sure that you try and remember 
that idea. All right, but the answer to our problem was n is 13. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.